guys, welcome to my channel. It's Vinny here. And can I just say today I feel very, very free. Um, it's raining outside. I love looking at the rain, not driving in it. Okay, so today's video, I kind of wanted to do like a New Year's resolutions video. So I kind of want to do a video, I mean, not only to put it out here for YouTube, but actually for myself. One of the things in my first video I said is that I was going to be very real on this channel and I guarantee to do that. Last year, I had some New Year's resolutions and they were literally crazy. Like I had set out on a mission, I had so many New Year's resolutions and I don't think that I prepared myself for them. I think that they were jumping a few steps. I think that they weren't written down how they should have been written down, like taking the time, finding out how I'm gonna get to this goal. Cause you can't just write down a goal and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get there. Like it has to be like very specific and a detailed goal. This is like my motivational mirror because sometimes I feel like I have to very much incorporate positivity in my life and I have to literally force it on me. My mirror is something that I look at every day. It's in my room. It's big. It's here. I was like, yo, I need this to like, you look at this every day. Now I really look at it. You know what I'm saying? This one says never be limited by others limitations. And I feel like that one is big for me. Um, some people be like, uh, yeah, you think you could do that? And then it's like, just because you're limited mind thinking doesn't mean I should be limited like to my thinking as well. You're obligated to do the best you can do every day, like not overworking yourself, not pressuring yourself, but just doing the best you can. And if you can sit down and lay down at night and be like, hey, I did my best that I did today, then that's good. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. I always thought I was lost or broken or like weird, like why, why do I, why am I like this? Everybody else is so normal here. I don't fit in. Really? I mean, I wasn't lost. I wasn't broken. And at the end of the day, it's like life is not really about finding yourself. I don't need to find who I am. Like I'm not I'm not lost. Like I'm right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not lost, but I'm creating myself. So here I am who I am today. And if there's things that I want to change about myself, then I can make that change. So here's my wall. So within this wall, I also have the main course thing on here. This is kind of like my vision board. Um, I made it last year. It's 2023, I made it in 2022, doesn't mean I'm gonna make a new one. I don't need to make a new one. I had to really sit down and ask myself, what do I want my life to look like? And I think that that is very hard to do. And I think it's something that I've probably been told to do forever, and you know, since high school, since before, whatever. And I don't think about it, or I just kind of like change my plan because I'd be like, yo, I can't do that. So let me change it to like a little thing that I wrote right here. Basically saying that I will work towards it um, no matter how long it takes, uh, five years, 10 years, doesn't matter because this is what I want and it does not matter how long it takes me to get there. I want this for myself, so I'm going to get it type deal, you know? And then I also got some fortune cookie, uh, you know, what they be saying, what, the, what, the, what they what they be doing in the fortune cookies? They be, uh, what they call that? What do they call that? Oh my gosh, I can't think. You know the fortune, oh, fortunes, that's what they're called. Okay, so I be getting the little fortune cookies and they be having the little fortunes in them. And I just have like, this is a prosperous moment in your life. Um, envision the future you want and make it into reality. Panda Express, Panda Express out here with the quotes. Start that thing you've been putting off. I have a dream car on here. I have YouTube on here. I have a business because I, oh, man, I want to have my own business. Bilingual. Oh my gosh. I want to know Spanish so bad. It's working out, gym. I want to be fit. I want to gain a little bit of weight. I think in one of my earlier videos, I did talk about this as well. Like, I did not be eating, but like at the same time, like, man, I'm starting to realize it even more. Like, I really do not be eating. So I need to get back on that because at one point, I was a good a good cool little weight and like i lost all that weight i lost a lot of weight recently and now i'm like skinny and then i be it's nothing wrong with being skinny but at the same time like i'm just like dang i kind of liked it when i was just like you know now i'm like at a you okay skinny reality tv i've always wanted to be on movies and tv but like reality tv seems just so fun like i don't know it seems fun it seems like you get out there it seems like you miss people meet people I travel the world traveling I got cooking on here because I want to be chefing it up. I think I already said that on one of my videos too. Yeah, Vinny mashed potatoes. Them is good. Like I just, I just want, I just want to be chefing it up. Like you know, long hair. I, I used to have long hair as a kid. Like don't make me pull up the photos. 
sometimes I'll be wondering why because I literally don't like doing my, I love my hair but I do not like doing my hair so sometimes I wonder why I want my hair to grow longer but I want it to grow longer peace love happiness like I just want to be so like just genuinely just peaceful happy calm rejoiced excited goofy like I just want to be feeling like good and I'm naturally like a goofy person so if I'm not goofy like there's something wrong <laughs> like if I'm not acting goofy, like, there's something wrong. So, Miss Rihanna on Vogue magazine is on there. I mean, first of all, we don't have to get started into, like, um, the fact that she is a billionaire. I mean, that's just, like, you know, do I, do I need to say more? But now on top of that, but I feel like I really put her on here. I mean, she's a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. She has a big forehead. I, I have a big forehead. Like, I mean, I don't know, but... I'm sorry, all jokes aside though. But yeah, she definitely dabbles in everything. She can she be in movies, she be acting, she can model, she can sing. I can't sing, sorry, sorry. Can't sing, won't do it. Has her businesses, like, and I feel like that's how I always want to be. Like, I always think that I'm not gonna work a nine to five job. It kind of already shows on here with having a small business, doing YouTube. And I also kind of want to get into, not even kind of, I also want to get into modeling. I love modeling, I love fashion, I love makeup, I love putting outfits with photos and hairstyles and locations together. Like, I like all of that kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's something I want to get to. And we already did like a little bit of reality TV, but if I could do, if I could do all the TV, like if I could be like on a show, like that would be real crazy. Like, I don't know, like it's just something, just so I just kind of, I've always been into the performing art type of thing love being on stage like I always kind of like that you know even if I I've always been in like a part of dance crews and, and dance teams and step teams whatever but literally I don't know how to dance I don't have no rhythm but if I could be on stage I'm gonna be on stage like that's just how that's just how I am uh, Miss Rihanna Pisces me her we are yes and I have to sit down and think about what I want my life to look like if, if it doesn't matter don't think about anything don't think about no struggle like just think about what would what would this what would make you hap genuinely happy there like you know what i'm saying like don't think about oh wait but does that make enough money does this income match the stuff that i want to buy or the lifestyle that i want to live and does this match that don't think about anything just write down what would make you happy in your like in your life so that's what i did and once i did it i was like wow this is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and i end up writing it down in my journal so i have my little manifest daily journal so i write down things to manifest in here not a flowery it's, it's giving the same energy as my hairstyle not it so i have my manifest journal so i wrote in here and i kind of went into depth about don't look at it oh my god don't look at it. it's personal anyway so i wrote down everything in here like all of this but like into detail, like bilingual, okay, Spanish, okay, this, that. Like I kind of wrote down like all this. Then I kept this journal, I kept writing in it. I write in there daily. Sometimes I come up with like new ideas or sometimes I think of like businesses that I would like to own or things that I would like to do. And I write it down, I write it down. Like I write it down, I keep it down. Now I just write daily journals, you know, feeling bad, feeling good, just write it down, journal. I literally be telling people to journal now, it's crazy. Like I used to be like, I'm not journaling. But now I journal and now I tell people to journal. I just put my friend on to journaling and they're like, wow, changed my whole outlook. And I'm like, wow, uh, look at me, look at me motivating people. Look at me motivating people, look at me. So if you haven't watched my What I Got For Christmas video, you should go watch that one. So for What I Got For Christmas, I got this book and it's called Thinking Of The Master Plan. And I love this book. Like when I opened it, I was like, oh, this is so great. And it's basically like a guided journal and it's so pretty in here. I don't know how much I showed in that video. It's very detailed. It asks, it asks specific questions. And it basically asks you like a lot of questions about your core values, um, what makes you happy, your dream life, what you want to do, where you want to succeed. It kind of helps you set goals in order to get to this lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like in order to get to what you want to get to. Also a secret, you know, I went to the um, 99 cent store and they had this book here. So if you want to get a book, don't sleep on a 99 cent store and go get you a, go get you a master plan book. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me put you on, let me put you on. Sure, my new year's resolutions are just pretty much about me. Like all of them are just about me. It's not about work. There's none about school. 
There's not, there's not, 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 not like that. It's just literally me focusing on me, which is something I probably should have done a long time ago. So now I want to share these goals with you guys. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're still here and you're still watching, like, thank you. Working out three to five times a week, but starting off with three. And if three is all I can do, then that's good. I'm limiting my time on social media. Oh my gosh, let's get into it because we're going to have a little rant. I'm sorry, sorry, we're going to have a little rant. Okay, so Twitter, I don't have Twitter. Like I had made one a while ago and then I, I, I never got on it. And then two years ago, I tried to like log into my Twitter and then it was like your account got hacked um, in Russia. And then I was like, huh? So then I got my account back and then I don't know, I never got on there. And then recently it said I was like banned. And I was like, yo, I'm not on this app. How are you gonna I don't come on here. Every time I come over here, y'all delete an account. So it's not, you know what? I might as well just not. It, I know it wasn't meant for me, but thanks for letting me know. But honestly, I hear about how to, how toxic Twitter is, and I'm just honestly happy I don't have one. But yeah, I don't have Twitter. Don't go in there. Uh, if you feel like you spend too much time on Twitter, watch yourself. Watch yourself. No, I'm just kidding. But TikTok? No. I used to be on TikTok crazy. I used to love TikTok. I used to go into the little rabbit hole and stay on there all the time. But now I look at it real differently. And the way I look at TikTok is... Honestly, you see like the same trend 30 times on your For You page. Like you see the same trend, but it's like 30 different people doing the same thing. But they all did the same type of idea. It's all real copy and paste. It might be laughs or whatever. But when I sit on TikTok, I just think about, dang, what could I have been doing in this time that I sat on TikTok? Like if you're making TikTok content, then like do you and all that kind of stuff. But if you feel like you're sitting on TikTok for like hours or going through the wormhole or, or losing sleep over it, like, I don't know, just sit back and think about it and be like, you know, what else could I be doing instead of doing that? Instagram. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Instagram. Oh, my gosh. So I have Instagram. And honestly, I've been contemplating for like months now whether I want to delete that and delete my whole account and never return. Like, I'm not talking about no oh, uh, temporary close down. I'm talking about delete that account and never return. Like I, man, I do not like Instagram. I think Instagram is a little fake. Um, not even a little fake. It's a lot. It's a lot extra, extra fakes. I think that life is just, you know, the idea is people are supposed to just only share their happy times and not their bad times. And I think more people should speak out about, more people should be able to communicate and speak out about their bad times or if they're not feeling good or any of that because other people are going through the same thing and honestly they just don't want to share it and i feel like if i am on instagram i'm gonna be me i'm gonna be as real as i can be i'm gonna come up there with no makeup on makeup on this weird video do this do that post like this don't post like that there's no rules nobody's making rules to this i'm just going to do whatever I want to do but it's kind of hard to like be at least for me I'm it's kind of hard for me to be on Instagram and like not compare myself to everybody on my timeline like I just scroll and I just like oh this person doing this or this person do that like it's just kind of like real toxic and honestly who I don't even know what the heck is going on in their lives bro they could be having a terrible time not saying I wish that on them but I'm saying they could be having a terrible time and here I am like bringing myself down just because of a five second photo that I've seen. So it's just like, mm, I don't know. I don't really like Instagram. And my, my goal is to pretty much limit my time on there. I kind of want to do social media Saturdays. That's what I came up with and only be on social media on Saturday. It's really good to log off. And I've had situations and times where like I logged off for months and then jumped back on. But it's real, it's so good to like log off and then really see how your life is like really just enjoy things around like i don't know the world just seems so much better when you just look at what's in front of you face value instead of the stuff that you see on the screen so yeah that's how i feel about social media limited time on social media i feel like it's a definitely it, it could definitely help anyone's mental health like i think that it does because once you don't have anybody to compare yourself to it makes it very much easier. My next resolution is looking good. Honestly, looking good. Now I do have an Instagram um, where I do take magnificent photos. And I'm, I'm not going to... <sighs> I usually am very hard on myself, but we're not going to do that in this video. I take good photos. I take very great photos that I like. The only thing is, I don't look like that on a regular daily, daily basis. But not only do I not look like that, but I usually look like a bum. Like I usually be niche match socks pants on backwards, head scarf, crust in my nose, booger in my eye, 
Like, I just be, you know, like, I just be looking a little bum, 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 bum. Like, honestly, my mom tells me all the time. I need to start, like, not doing that. And we're focusing, not saying focus on my appearance, but if you're looking that bummy, you might want to be like, hey, straighten up a little bit. Read more, journal more, and listen to podcasts. Number one, definitely recommend this to anybody. Like I said in my last video, I got a whole bunch of books for Christmas. I cannot wait to read them. I love reading. It's so much I love it. I look. I, I didn't know. I didn't know I loved it though. That's the thing though. That's the thing. I didn't know I loved it. But then I read it. And then I was like, I love this. Like, I love it. Now, journaling, like I said, I mean, I got about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten journals. So, like I said, grab your journal and journal. You don't have to do it every day. Just do it when you can. Listen to podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. I love it. And a lot of people out there that have podcasts are so open and honest. And it's so good to hear that. You know, like it's good to see indulge in like meaningful interactions and like stuff that feels normal. Like where I say Instagram is like a face value. I don't know who that person is. All I see is them looking great and that's it. Healthy practices of self-love. Definitely need to get back on my self-love and loving who I am inside and out and loving everything about me. Like I just want to be my number one fan and I still feel like sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I feel like I am my number one critic. So the next thing is solo dates. I want to do some solo dates. It's painting, movies, dinner, etc. Like maybe I can go out to dinner and journal or go sit here or go do that. But definitely be out more. I feel like sometimes I'll hide away in my house. Like sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's safer here gonna watch some tv gonna paint on my desk gonna sit here and do this here wait i could go do this outside but i'm not i'm gonna do it at home and i feel like that's just like i don't want to do that anymore like i want to make sure that i'm getting out the house at least every month if i can do more okay but at least every month like a solo day my next resolution is keeping up with this journal because keeping up with this journal is going to have me keeping up with a lot of other stuff keeping up with my goals writing on goals so that way i can get to the bigger picture because honestly if you're just writing down goals and you're just trying to like work on goals to get to the money or you're working on goals to just like just graduate or stuff like that but you don't really know what your end result looks like it's kind of harder to work towards them and i feel like i've set goals and i feel like wait why am i doing this like i do it and i'm like okay but what but i feel like if i'm writing down goals and then they have a bigger picture that happens in the long run and once you teach yourself that the long run is is to be to be like announced like we don't know when that will be but just keep working to it and it'll happen like i feel like it's a better it's a better outlook a better motivation to work to your goals this year is all about positivity self-reflection self-love putting me first selfishness this year is about me she was about me and my personal development and who I am and making myself a better person because there's a lot more things besides all of this that I can change and work on as a person and I just want to make sure that I get to my best me thank y'all so much for watching this video I really appreciate it I hope y'all love this video so much I appreciate it if you guys watch this whole video please comment down your new year's resolutions because i might have to steal some you never know i will see y'all in my next video and y'all have a good one